Hello everyone and welcome to this series on automating your procurement process with SAP Business by Design. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create a shopping cart within the system. Let's switch over to the system to see how this is done. I'm currently logged in as an employee that has been assigned procurement roles. To create a new shopping cart on the system, navigate to the home work center and click on the self-service overview. It's important to note that all employees have access to the self-service overview. However, what is displayed can be restricted by the administrator. In the categories, in the category shopping, we have two options. We have the go shopping and go shopping advanced. Now, with the go shopping advanced, you have the option to raise shopping carts on behalf of others aside to yourself. So we click on go shopping advanced. When go shopping advanced. The first thing that is displayed is the shop on behalf of. So you can either shop on behalf of yourself, which is the default, the user logged into the system, or you can shop on behalf of other employees by clicking on the list and selecting from the list of employees. And then you have the ship to information, the company, the recipients, the ship to or service location. You also have the customer in case this procurement is this procurement is in is required to probably fulfill a customer's order. And then you have the as account assignment type, you have a cost center where you select the list of cost centers. Please note that you can assign it to multiple cost centers, but the total percentage after adding all must be 100. And then you have the customer contract, you can assign it to a customer contract where you select from the list of existing contracts on the system. You have project tax where you assign it to an existing project tax on the system. You have sales order, again you select from the list of sales order and the same thing applies to your service order. So for this I'm going to be splitting the, co the cost across three cost centers. And then next, you select from a list of catalogs. So you have the option to be able to create a catalog where your employees can select from their products from that list. However, in this case, we haven't created any catalog, so we'll just move to the next step to select our products. Now, first, you can select from the list of products or put in a description in the case where the product has not been created. It's important to know that every item raised from a shopping cart is referred to is recognized as a non-stock item, meaning that the item would not be received into your warehouse. Instead, it will be processed through a goods and service receipt. Also, it will be expensed at the point of purchase. So in this case, we're just going to put in our item description, our delivery date, our quantity, now, if there's an existing purchase contract on the system and this item is against that contract, you can select from the list of contracts on the system. And then I'll put in our price. Now, you also have the option to put in the preferred supplier. Now, in the case where you are probably um, discussed with the supplier, you can also specify the supplier's ID here. It just makes the work easier for the procurement team in determining who to buy the item from. Another important thing is the product category. You need to specify the category for your product. Now, once this is done, you can click check to ensure that all the fields have been populated correctly. Also, you can define approval processes on this item on this shopping cart now in the case where the approval process has been defined you'll be able to see who is to approve so you can see currently that for my shopping cart john thomas is to approve it once that's been approved by john then it can be processed on the system as a valid document and then the procurement department can act upon it so once that's done i click finish and then it is sent for approval so you can see shopping cart this submitted for approval and then you can see which to approve it. Also, it's important to note that uh, service agents cannot raise shopping carts on the system. And therefore, if you want to shop service agents to raise shopping carts, you need to hire them as employees on your system. 
You can also set up notification rules within the system such that once the shopping cart is approved, the user or the requester is notified and then it can be passed on to the next step. Thank you very much for your time. To find out more, kindly visit our website www.gtankng.com or send a mail to engage at gtankng.com. Think ERP, think Digitank.